Dakota, you are everything I hoped for and nothing I expected. And I am so excited to be your wife. I love you so much. You steal my breath, I get choked up. You see right through. Become such an amazing person. So grateful to know you. And I am so happy for you. You're such a beautiful bride. Thank you. Love you. In your arms, it's only just us two. Every time I close my eyes, I'm dreaming of you, baby. First time Nicole told me about you, you just came back into town. She's like, oh, I'm going out to coffee with an old friend from high school. I was like, all right, who's this? And then you came over, became part of our lives so quick. and One of our best friends. Svetlana Nicole Hallman was born in our hearts on December 8, 2005, when she walked into the orphanage's director's office where we were to meet her. Standing only four feet tall, ponytails and smiling, she sat on her laps, and we thank God for this quiet, shy, and normal little girl. Svetlana's not normal. She's not quiet, and she's not shy. A Russian tornado set down in our house, and all of us were changed forever. Swear I haven't felt this way since I can't remember when. But it's paradise, this must be what it's like to love again. One day when your life flashes before your eyes, only the most important and memorable moments are what you see. With you, I've lived more life than I ever could have imagined. That's only the beginning. From our spontaneous trips and traveling to foreign countries, to the occasional getaway, we have never ceased to live life to the fullest. The time we've shared has been worth so much more than money can buy, and we've grown together both as people and as parents. You have given me the greatest opportunities a man can ever ask for in being your husband and a father to our beautiful blessing, Layla. I know we've anticipated this day for a long time. We've worked so hard to get to this point. We've been blessed with so many family and friends and their help along the way. And I love you for all of the things you do and just who you are. And you have the biggest heart and the most caring soul of anyone I've ever met. You and I both know how indecisive I can be at times. I am constantly switching my decision or just have no clue what I want. But if there is one decision that I know is the right one, it's to spend the rest of my life with you. From our first date, I knew we were meant to be together when you talked just as much as me. Maybe a little bit more. You came into my life when I truly had no idea what I was looking for. But God knew that I needed you. You are the one I go to when I need advice, affection, laughter, and sometimes just to talk about nonsense. But most of all, your presence is the best of them all. And it's your selfless personality towards others and desire to help people that made me fall in love with you again and again. my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Is it too late to buy red wine? Did join your friends in mine? Is it too late to up and steal you from the party? I've been watching you all night long. Patience is damn near gone Baby, you can't feel the fire Till you started uh, When I met Nicole for the first time It was clear that we were very different people in many ways 
<laughs> she was loud and I was quiet. She often threw convention out the window and I followed the rules. She never ran out, of, ran out of words to say and never shied away from saying exactly what was on her mind while I struggled to get them out. Unless I was telling her to go to sleep, which would usually only happen after an hour of arguing, <laughs> she never shied away from a challenge and I always tried to find the easiest, fastest way to accomplish anything. Um, it wasn't clear to us at first, but our differences would match surprisingly well as we got older. And as we grew closer, I knew this speech was something I wanted to put some thought and work into because she and our relationship have come to mean so much to me. And the tanning gal tells her to turn around and for some reason Nicole, with like no hesitation, starts spinning around in a circle. Um, and when she realized that the tanning gal and I were dying, she just laughed along with us because that's who Nicole is. There comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their soulmate, the person that will love them and put up with them for the rest of their life. That moment came for Dakota nine years ago when he met me. All those amongst you who know Lana will know that she is a wonderful and caring person who deserves a good husband. It's true.